Hey, Terry Swanson with Century 21 Results. You know, we get asked a lot from sellers, what is my best option to get my home sold given my situation? And in today's market, you really have three different options. You've got iBuyers, there's retail route, and the wholesale route. And, you know, today we are seeing a lot of iBuyers make some plays in the market. And actually, we're seeing a lot of homes in lower price points in Atlanta come up that are listed and they're owned by iBuyer companies from past buys. So iBuying is a pretty good option out there, but in today's market with the inventory being so low, if I were a seller looking to get the maximum potential I could out of my home, retail would be the route that I'd really strongly consider going. And retail today is actually getting a good bit above iBuyers today. And about a year ago, iBuyers were a very vibrant solution and the net was getting a seller pretty darn close to retail scenario. But today, because inventory is even lighter than it was last year, we're seeing prices get driven up even further to the winning bids going the retail route. So I would explore both options side by side. You should work with somebody or yourself, go investigate the iBuyers, the institutional money. And there's about five of them right now that are vibrantly buying in the Atlanta market. And uh, you want to make sure you work with somebody or that you know the different options that you have under the iBuyers. On the retail route, are there are agents out there right now clamoring. Our different approach today is we're not out trying to get listings. We're out just trying to find off-market properties for the buyers that we have. So we're going in a strong approach about going, hey, we're not even interested in listing your home. We just want to bring buyers. So if you're looking to sell in the next three to six months, you could save commissions. That's an approach that's going on out there just as well as hey, let's strategize and maybe we price your home right at market and we're going to get multiple offers and get the people to bid up. And right now we're seeing both of those approaches working very well for people that are willing to go and go the extra mile to go to the retail route. And then we've got the wholesale route. If you're in a situation where you don't have money or funds, uh, iBuyers aren't necessarily going to be offering on your home because there's too much to do, the wholesale route may be a perfect opportunity for you because even in the wholesale, Back in three to five years ago, they were not giving you but what you would consider wholesale pricing. Today, wholesalers, if they're looking to buy and hold a property, if they're looking to flip a property, they're actually paying margins that are pretty darn close to, I call them retail light today. But it's not going to give you the full amount that a lot of people want. But depending on your situation, you might find that the wholesale route is a good viable option for you because it'll get you the furthest down the road very quickly in a sale decision versus hold on to something or having to fix it up before you get it sold. If you have any questions about any one of the options or you want to explore each of the options side by side, give us a call and let us know. We're here to help you and we can walk you through each one of those options and see which one makes the most sense for you. Call us today to learn about the three different approaches, 770-634-9710. I promise you will not be sorry you did.